SFA final of the under 13 PlayStation FC Elite School Cup, South Huntsley School, Wick School. And your lineup for Wick Gift School at one, Buster Barrett. Well, Jacob Owusu. to the Hawthorns for match two on day two of the PlayStation FC Schools Cup Festival for 2022. Two big teams going head to head here. South Huntley School up against Wicked. Let's have a look at the teams so, uh, just doing the uh, toss of the coin. Here's the South Huntley lineup. Bjorn Phillips in goal, John Wyndham, Wyndham, Leo Fulford, Eddie Plunkett, Lewis Els Fontana, George Whittle, Ellis Neebly, Joshua Henderson, Lewis Blanchard, Henry Edwards, and Nathan Cunningham are the first 11 for South Huntley. We're playing on the full pitch here. It's 11 aside. It's the first match of the festival with uh, the big. Big pitch, the big boys, big girls will be going head to head later on. Here is the away team for Whitgift School. It's uh, Buster Barrett in goal, Jacob Wusu, Alex Dalgleish, Marley Simpson, Josh Grant Halliday, Dante Waite, Sam Bean, Leo Bachelor, Aidan Evans, Theo Tabraham, Lewis Mun Mundegar. Quickly onto the substitutes. Um, we got a bit of time actually. Uh, the officials are taking their time, shaking their hands. Full benches. Um, Evan Cawthra, pretty sure we saw Cawthra for South Hunsley just playing in the, in the girls of the 13. Harvey Sykes Cook, Thomas Buckton, Max Seal and William Close. James Colbeck is the manager slash teacher. That's for Whitgift, it's Arnolin, Reed Pollard, Near and Hill. James Mullane is the manager slash teacher for Whitgift, who are in the all white here today as they kick off on that beautiful day for football and South Huntsley start off straight away here's a chance a real chance and a goal with six seconds on the clock incredible what a start Lewis Blanchard has scored for South Huntsley and what an incredible start they go 1-0 ahead with just less than 10 seconds on the clock Here's the replay from the kickoff. Incredible, this is. I've never seen this before. But there's the tackle, and there's the run. And Lewis Blanchard on the end of this. Bang, through the goalkeeper's legs. 1-0. And uh, I would like to check with our director at some stage. How many seconds are on the clock as that ball crossed the line? I think that was six or seven seconds. It was ridiculous. That is... Well, I've been commentating and watching a lot of schools cup over certainly the last six or seven years, and we have never seen a goal as quick as that. And, uh, well, Whitgift has to settle down. That is your trademark nightmare start. Goal down. I think only three players actually touched the ball. Um, I definitely want to see that again at some stage when we get the opportunity. I literally think that was... The third player in the match, officially seven seconds. Amazing. Right, back to some normal football. <laughs> uh, just uh, starting to get to know some of the players already. There's uh, Dalgleish, 
Slightly miscued that uh, with his right foot. Ball over the top. Goalkeeper's out very, very sharply to this. This is under 13 football, so so far it's been mainly under 12s, but um, here we are with the under 13s on a full size pitch. So for schools football, you could say this is probably about as tough as it gets. And oh, look at the pace here. Here's Blanchard again, and a shot that's held by the goalkeeper. Blanchard absolutely burnt off Marley Simpson there. And uh, well, that's a, a real warning for the Whitgift defence. He nearly had two goals in two and a half minutes. We've only used second touch. Our ball hasn't gone out yet. We've not had a chance to re review from other cameras that call at the moment. And here come South Hensley. Trying to play in Blanchard, but ball slightly misplaced. And here's the opposite number nine, Aidan Evans, for Whitgift. Who looks a little bit feisty himself. They're not messing around here. They're playing quickly. So they've all been sitting around watching the first game that uh, we just saw earlier. And uh, they're all keyed up for this match. Here's Bean. Looking for action in the middle. Oh! Well, there's a appeal for handball. Aidan Evans with a twist in the turn. And Getting a shot away with his left foot. This is a dangerous one as well. And well played by Simpson there. That was awkward. What a challenge from Blanchard. And Blanchard again using his pace is definitely going to be a real danger. He's got to be careful. He doesn't exert himself too much there. Let's have a look at the goal again. Right, here we go. Oh, I need to see it from the kickoff. I was wanting to count how many players had touched the ball. Well, this is the great finish. Bang. Straight through the goalkeeper's legs. Evans back to Halliday Evans again Evans wanting to open up there but that's Fulford Leo Fulford on uh, on top of that shoelace uh, referee's just asked uh, the play to stop Here's Bachelor. Simpson. Keeper's going to come and clear up here. Plays a pass instead of a long ball. Takes some nerve to do that. They're playing a very high line with Gift, and we're already seeing that that could be danger. And here we are again. Here's Blanchard again. High, uh, never shot with a left foot, but. Just a little bit too far out, you feel, for that shot. Needs to try and get inside a little bit. Three opportunities for Blanchard. And there's only five minutes on the clock. Plenty of football yet to be played. It's 35 minutes each way here. Yeah. So here it is from the kickoff. What? One player touched the ball. Two, three, and well, there's the interception. Four, and there you go. Seven seconds, and it's in the back of the net. Amazing. Simpson intercepts. Looking for Evans. Evans has got a bit of space here. Plays in Bean. And put away by Plunkett. A lot of South Hunsley supporters here. Three matches, the first three matches of the day of all South Hunsley matches. Mums and dads enjoying uh, the sunshine in the crowd. <laughs> Get it clear nicely there. This is uh, this is an elite schools cup match, so that means there are players who are allowed to play who would normally not be allowed to play. 
So academy players who are with certain clubs, of which uh, there's quite a few on this list. I uh, will uh, I'm having a little look. We are um, South Wensley are from the East Riding area, so out towards the Hull area, so the halfway between Leeds and Hull. Miss control there though, and here's an opportunity as uh, Owusu gets fouled. Poor control there from uh, Wyndham. Having a look at the list, there's quite a few players who are playing, uh, who are on the academies at Hull City and Scunthorpe and uh, Grimsby Town, so out towards the East Riding area near where the Humber is. Looking at Whitgift, as uh, two players who are on Fulham's books who are uh, obviously rejoining the Premiership this season and uh, Chelsea and Crystal Palace are represented here. A long distance shot that goalkeeper never in trouble there. That was always very, very comfortable indeed. that uh, some players have just started to settle here. Henry Edwards and uh, Dante Waite, two number tens are having a nice little battle just then. Kick from Simpson. He's put it into a dangerous area. Goalkeeper's done really well there. That was a absolutely clinical placement of the free kick there from here's a Wosu. Turns inside. Doesn't uh, connect with the ball properly, but great goalkeeping there from Ewan Phillips. He was under quite a lot of pressure to from uh, his own defence and uh, opponents there. Managed to get a fist to it. Those are the guys who are causing all the noise down below. <laughs> Looking to play in Blanchard. The high line for Whitgift, you're seeing they're pushing up all the time, but I think this is uh, playing into Blanchard's hands a little bit because he's got a bit of pace about him. And this is good play from Evans, who's got into the penalty box, turns inside, real opportunity. Oh, it's going to be a goal, and it is. Dante Waits, the captain for Whitgift, has equalised in this under-13 Elite Schools Cup final. And it's one all, but it was Evans who did all the work on the left-hand side. Great play from the number nine. As Aidan Evans received the ball, you've just seen the end of the run here. He got his body in the way. Not great, and this was superb. Opened it up, and well... Dante Wake won't get an easier goal all season. Just thought he may have released there, but he decided to just wait a second and pull it back. And there, Dante Wake gets his name on the scoreboard. It's one all. Only 10 minutes gone. The Wosu. Of course, this being the elite. Elite competition, there's uh, not so many teams, not as many teams enter it. It's really teams that have got players who are on academies that will uh, enter this competition. Still uh, five rounds of, uh, six rounds of games, so we're still in and around the 50 mark in terms of the number of teams that did enter. Interesting, uh, South Hensley only conceded one goal throughout the whole of this competition so far. So that was only the second goal they've conceded. They had a 4-1 victory at Mallet Lambert School. In uh, round three, it was a 3-0 victory of a Wright Robinson College, who always have a good team. Round four, a 6-0 away victory against St. Mary's College Catholic Academy. 
and in the semi-final a really tight affair that was with Wyndham scoring the winning goal a 1-0 victory at home against Priestnell School here's Whitgift though on the attack and Evans is through again oh saved beautifully from Ewan Phillips and you feel that uh, Evans is really starting to open up he's getting opportunities he's feigning both ways fights for the ball here well goes past Lewis Els Fontana very easily there and Phillips stood up to the shot keeper comes out and does really well there with tall players around him not the tallest keeper out there the tallest player out there I should say of course he's got his hands and his arms a little bit extra height and he did well there that was a, a tough take on the edge of the six-yard box and defenders will always tell you they like a goalkeeper that uh, comes and dominates his six-yard box settles them down a lot here's Wade the goal scorer had a bit more time than I think he realized Evans back to Wade just can't get the ball down at the moment it's bouncing up around everybody's shoulders Oh, that could have been nasty, but the two number 11s going for the challenge and Cunningham coming away to Victor. Cleared from Barrett. Simpson. Simpson's gone long. And Evans is looking, Evans has definitely got a bit of pace about him. And Eddie Plunkett, happy just to put that one into Rose Ed for now. Okay, Miss Caesar. There's only 30 minutes on the clock. It feels as if we've uh, we should be deep into the first half with everything that's happened. It's just gone out of play. a chance up in front of goal what a save second save oh wow brilliant goalkeeping and Ewan Phillips gets his body in the right place at the right time Evans there managing referee could have actually blown there potentially saved once and well it was a combination of defender and goalkeeper that stopped the second and Whitgift had an excellent chance of taking the lead there Bachelor out wide, Halliday on to Bean. Cleared away by Fulford, throw to Whitgift. Whitgift based on the south east side of London. A uh, popular school for sports, they excel in rugby on a regular basis. Uh, involved a lot with schools rugby uh, over at Twickenham and Stonex Arena wait turns his player here Waits done really well there as well and that will be a goal kick no doubt the uh, the flow of the game has changed somewhat after that opening goal Certainly could have been a couple more for South Hensley as well uh, interestingly this is exactly how the girls game went in the first match South Hensley on top for the first five minutes and then uh, their opposition superb Evans looking to release the pull the trigger there slightly scuffed the shot in the end so frankly just uh, needing a bit of a breather here Waits will uh, draw the foul
Just looking at the uh, results, uh, I read out just a, uh, a while ago, South Hansley's results to get through. Good gift of, uh, they've conceded more, but they've scored a lot more. And I think that's how we've seen the match develop. They uh, got an abundance of talent up front. South Hansley have scored 14, only conceded one. So that goal we just saw, only the second goal they've conceded in this tournament. As for the Whitgift, they've scored 33 goals. And here could be 34. Oh my goodness, Wade has smacked one in from 25 yards for his second goal of the day. He goes to the same corner flag. That had some real welly behind it. Here's the goal again. Arusu plays it in. Wait, there's not much going on here when you look at this. And then he just sees an opportunity, pulls the trigger. And, well, a bit of swerve and a bit of height looping over the top of the keeper. Really, not much the goalkeeper could do about that one. That was... That had lots of action on it, that ball. And into the back of the net. And Whitgift, 2-1 ahead here. Well, I was just saying how many goals they've scored. They've conceded seven in the five matches they've played. But scored 33. So... An average at uh, one of them was a 14 2 win against B Bishop's Challoner, 3 0 win in round one against St. Peter's, and it was uh, 8 1 against Bishop Stortford High School in round three, 5 1 against Ravenswood in the quarter final, and then a 5 3 victory away at Thomas Telford. That would have been a really, really high quality game. Thomas Telford, full of star players themselves. And uh, well, what a game that was, obviously. Five goals to three. Probably symptomatic of the fact that uh, they can concede goals, but they're going to try and score more. And here they come again. Here's Bean. Passes. Oh, heads it forward to Evans. And Evans just crowded out. And the offside flag was, was up. So we're going to have a free kick here. Gift again, pressing that high line. Simpson, Blanchard. Well, he's hard to get a chance. He, he probably had three chances. Obviously, the first one was excellent for the goal, but he had two half chances from similar positions. He's hardly had a touch since. So strange how the game has developed. He's, uh, he's looking a bit of a lonesome figure up front at the moment. We go out first throw to Whitgift. It's all the play is on the left hand side of the pitch as we're looking. Touch on from Blanchard, the goalkeeper's out of his goal. Blanchard's got a great chance here, and he has scored! <laughs> what a great finish! Blanchard gets his second, and it's 2 2. Lewis Blanchard, he's a danger man. I was just saying he's not had a sniff of the ball since the fifth minute, and he gets a half opportunity here. The goalkeeper had committed himself a little bit earlier. Well, Blanchard, that shows real nerves to play the ball where the goalkeeper actually was deliberately, knowing that the goalie was probably going to dive to his right and oh, so close to getting it. Wow. What a game this is. And here's Blanchard. Uh, Blanchard's hunting down again. It's uh, Henry Edwards on the right. Plenty of players back for Whitgift at the moment. Simpson will clear. And Cunningham, that ball being cleared away by Tabraham, who's a joint captain with Dante White here today. 
Wow. Corner to Whitgift. Let's have another look at the goal. And uh, this is from a little bit further back. And you see the long ball's played. And you know, Blanchard, he's got two defenders as a goalkeeper. He's totally gets, he gets a beautiful touch here. And then you see that the goal is committed. And there you go. Just in the corner of the goal. That was tight, wasn't it? Goalkeeper's come out for this. Again, gets a good fist to it. And wonderful play in centre midfield and Blanchard's wanting to hunt this one down again there's a big sprint on from Edwards in the centre Edwards is calling for the ball Blanchard's burned off his player Edwards is in the centre brilliant defence from Tabraham who managed just to get in front of Edwards Edwards has put the afterburners on he was gone and Tabraham managed to just get back in time great passage of play what a match this is Bean and that will be a throw as Plunkett ushers him out of play oh that was uh, truly noticeable there Blanchard down the left and Edwards absolutely busting the gut to get into the centre it was only a, a major effort from Theo Tabraham to cover that cross uh, referee is going to say we'll have that throw again. Never know the rule on this, whether they give it to the opposition or not. There was, there was certainly a chance. Here's, here's a staff, last opportunity. As Blanchard comes in, he decides to go to the line, and that's an absolutely excellent defending from Tabraham there. If he hadn't have uh, managed to get back as he did, that was going to be a, another goal for South Hemsley. The match is truly in the balance. I think we've seen from past results that Whitgift will throw caution to the wind and they will commit players forward, but that is going to leave gaps at the back, especially with the high line that Whit Whitgift do play. There's a few risks being taken here. I'm just. Uh, Long ball comes in, really long ball to the back post. And that was Wyndham who scored the winner in the semi final. Owosu decided not to go with him. That was interesting to see if Owosu took a look at Wyndham going forward and decided just to hold back. Needley, we'll call that a dummy. Swung the ball in deep again. Here's an opportunity at the back post. Henderson blocked away and South Hunsley now have a little bit of the lion's share of possession Cunningham looking for Blanchard Blanchard just doesn't run for him and we get played the ball quickly forward if like this is crazy they've got four players up front still and uh, Whitgift have put in some uh, so South Hunsley are putting pressure in on the Whitgift goal Peel for handball there was a uh, Lewis Mundiger Mundegar, sorry. South Hensley fans are. This is where we give the dangerous, but not on that occasion. That was very interesting. An intense attack from South Hensley. There were still four players up for Whitgift on that uh, on that move, and there are gaps in and around. It's uh, they're sort of playing a, a sort of. 4-4-2 but well a few of the midfielders are pretty much constantly attacking like uh, for example uh, Dante Wade who's got two goals to be honest if you're Dante Wade you're you want to be further forward with a shot like he's got but he's tending to stay further up he's, he's almost like in well he's wearing the number 10 and I was just about to say he's almost like in the number 10 slot just behind the forwards well that's why he's got the number 10 on perhaps that's the role he's playing at uh, home Goalkeeper's coming out to clear this, does well. Cunningham puts him under intense pressure. That's a good kick from the keeper. Evans, great little ball. That was first touch. Wait. Tries to play in Bean. South Hensley are 
certainly having the lion's share of possession now and Blanchard looking to get on the end of this well cleared wow what a game we're getting towards half time eight minutes to go and these in the 13s are really stepping up what a high quality game this is Wyndham is finding a bit of space he's taking a gamble he's uh, a worse who is letting him go forward and on the hope that he will get the ball played later on to him but Wyndham's pushing up and he's not being marked on this right wing for South Hunsley Here is Orosu, Wyndham, very strong tackle indeed. And he wins the throw. Crowd appreciated that, there's a lot of South Hunsley supporters here. Blanchard, that's the control, Evans doesn't, Waits running in on the overlap. He's almost a third forward really, Wait. Ball's played over the top for Cunningham, and Cunningham is offside, the flag is up. The crowd didn't like that, and wouldn't, I wouldn't mind seeing that on a replay. The crowd here are convinced that he actually was onside when the ball was played. We, uh, we get our specialist replay machine when uh, the ball goes out, and we'll uh, stop the action and have a look. Wait with the flick on, he's on a hat-trick, so is Blanchard. Where he's got this opportunity, we've already seen him unleash one from with his right foot from outside the box. Always missed there, but uh, fortunately covered by Wyndham for, for Hunsley. Plenty of space at the left back position. There are holes developing. Dangerous cross, Simpson miss kicks. Gets away with that one. And Whitgift again noticeable. And it's almost a tactic. The goalkeeper's aware that Whitgift are leaving a few players up and he's getting that goal kick hit as quickly as possible. Evans. He's got weight coming in for support. It's actually four on three in Whitgift's favour here. They're pushing so many players forward. Bean and Waits on the edge of the box. Waits, Bean's unmarked at the moment. And here is Bean with a free header. Oh, it's in the bar. And cleared. <laughs> Amazing. As the rain starts to come down, this is a repeat of yesterday. It's absolutely starting to pelt down out here. Great slide tackle from Alex Dalglish, crowd wanting a foul but that was a great tackle and a bit of a battle going on in midfield as the rain really starts to hammer down here we saw this yesterday here's Evans fakes for the shot and he's tackled and South Hunsley can clear miscontrolled by Needling one back here's Bachelor out wide to Mundigar and Arusu, plenty of space, he's, play, he's played in weight instead. But uh, there's a lot of space on that left wing position, as we've seen for South Hensley. Uh, Bean does come inside quite a lot, as we just saw there with that header. Smallest lad on the pitch. As the rain really starts to come down heavily here. Well, all the fans and uh, thankfully the camera crew they're all nicely uh, under cover, thankfully. It's just the players that are getting absolutely soaked. Incredible. Uh, this is tropic stuff, this is. Here's Wade. Nicely done flick from Wade. A little miscontrol. Comes back to him again. Evans, Evans will have a go, Rosu tries to follow in, wow this rain is 
This is heavier than anything we saw yesterday. And it will be a free kick. Keep complaints there. But, well, but two and a half minutes to go. I bet they can't wait to get in. Um, <laughs> we're expecting this. We had beautiful sunshine earlier on. To Whitgift, actually, not uh, yet. Hensley wanted it. Of course. Of course, there's booze in the crowd. Yeah, showers are anticipated, but it should uh, should dry up a little bit later on, around one o'clock. So this is just a bit of a tropical one that's hit us. Big red cloud on the radar. Henderson. Looks wide, decides to have a shot. Well, this is the uh, early, we've not had a chance here, but this was Evans who, who put one in, and I'd said on commentary that Bean was unmarked in the middle. Smallest lad on the pitch, that's absolutely brilliant as a header. Tried to chip the goalkeeper. Oh, oh, and there's the reaction from the crowd. Brilliant to see. And the rain, as quickly as it started, has stopped. There you go, that's watered the glass a little bit. Oh, nice play here from Edwards. Plays in Blanchard, Blanchard on the left foot. Blanchard scores! Patrick! For Lewis Blanchard. South Hensley lead by three goals to two. And he is absolutely dynamite, is Lewis Blanchard. Great play from Edwards. Edwards did all the donkey work on this, played Blanchard in. He had half an opportunity, running away from goal. Well, he's had a few practice shots to tee up. He scored his first goal in a similar position. He's, he's probably had about five shots from that actual place. You know, you could almost take a one-meter circle around that area, and he's had five shots from there. And we don't have up to stats with uh, to prove that, but uh, I can tell you from memory. And, wow, this game has turned around a little bit, hasn't it? South Hunsley 3, we give 2. I wouldn't be surprised if this ended up something like 6-5. De Defences are definitely not on top in this one. And there's an overlap here from Wyndham. Arosu's left his man again. Great cross from Wyndham and Blanchard looking for his fourth. Edwards wins the header. <laughs> minute additional time you just sense that whoever's attacking is got a chance of scoring it's one of those games sometimes you get the games where they're nil nil and defenses are on top both sides this is a complete turnaround both attacking units fancying to score a lot of goals here today and already five goals in the first half That long distance, well, it certainly was a shot, I think, but Evans controls well. Ball's gone loose around the edge of the box. Hirose, wait, can't control it. Cleared away quickly. Blanchard looking to get on the end of this. Smacked away by Cunningham. And the half time whistle has gone, and what a half time! Brilliant football. These two teams are fairly entertained us here in the rain at West Bromwich Albion. Lewis Blanchard walks in with a hat-trick in his belt already and Dante away two goals for him with Whitgift what a great game half time South Hensley school three Whitgift school two in this under 13 elite schools cup let's have a look at the highlights of that first half there was lots of opportunities I fancy it's probably going to be the goals and that uh, that uh, and here's the first goal seven seconds the fourth player to touch the ball, put it in the back of the net. One, two, three, and here's Blanchard, player number four. And uh, it's through the goalkeeper's legs. Seven seconds on the clock. What a, what a goal this was. 
great little tackle and uh, Blanchard already wide awake he was leaving Marley Simpson for dead there he'd anticipated here's Evans on the on the overlap this is a great play from Evans who managed to get his body in he was anticipating the tackle didn't go for the shot cut it back and Dante Wade well I think any player on the pitch would have put that in from that position but wait was the man on the spot waiting for it great play from Bean actually who'd come in and realized it was behind him and knew there was another player behind him good awareness from Bean that he wasn't there got out of the way and that was one all and then well this is the uh, exceptional goalkeeping keep them in the match here Owosu two hits and uh, I fancy that one might make the uh, playlist for the save of the tournament. Just the fact that he made himself big and you know, he's watching as they clear. Here's the second and here's Waite. Receives the ball in the middle and, well, I don't think anybody anticipated such a hit from distance. That's something that uh, the South Francisco players, I think, have... have actually annulled for later on they were very aware that he's got the shot and they can't let him loose with his right foot even considering this lad is only 12 years old and he's only starting off his football experience what a strike that was and it moved in the air in fact was the thing that killed the goalkeeper swerved in the air goal here for Hensley this was their second and Blanchard completely judge that touch was it that touch was the moment took the defender out turned inside and the coolness to appreciate that the goalkeeper actually hit the shot at the goalkeeper knowing he was going to be moving out the way a real center forward awareness from Lewis Blanchard the touch was superb took out defender number one Simpson comes in and manages to sidestep and just in the corner of the goal that really was excellent this was superb itself brilliant move across and while well, being in the middle one of the smallest lads on the pitch absolutely wonderful <laughs> look at the parents oh. <laughs> absolutely fantastic they can't believe that it hasn't gone in and then, uh, as we're getting ready for maybe 2-2 two, two at half-time, then this happened. Lovely play from Edwards. Played in Blanchard. And again, from that position. Into the corner. And his hat-trick. What a ball that is from Edwards. He didn't have to touch it or anything. He just laid it into his path. And Blanchard just did the rest. Edwards took on two players there trick for Blanchard what a game I need to go down and sit down for five minutes and I will do we're gonna have a little break here we're we'll back for the second half very soon
will come back. Second half of this under 13 Elite Schools Cup National Final. And what a first half it was. Not sure we're going to get a goal after seven seconds or thereabouts in this half. South Hunsley will turn the kick off, leading three goals to two here. Got a bit excited in that first half. Got to remember, there's, there's three more games to go. I need to save a voice. <laughs> it's hard not to get excited when you're seeing such action in front of you. Incredible just to think these guys are 12 years old. Already some great footballing ability on show. We saw, saw the under 12s yesterday. We, uh, we actually have an under-15 match coming next, then uh, back to under-13s and then finish with an under-15. The kids get bigger and bigger. I can't see any substitutions. It looks like we've got the same lineups here. Uh, although, actually, uh, right. there has been a change around tactically by the looks of it. Looks like... Um, Aidan Evans has dropped back more into a sort of midfielder role. And uh, George Whittle, um, sorry, um, number six, Theo Abraham, has is, is gone, he's playing up front. So, a bit of a tactical change around, if not a player change. Edwards putting pressure on Simpson there. Awusu, Cunningham gets to tackling. Wyndham tries to chip over to Cunningham again, but that's too far, goes through to Mundegar. The sun graces the pitch. In fact, one of those rare occasions where the sun is on the whole pitch now. Middle of the day, here's, uh, here's Evans. Evans, good shot. Keeper shot, really like this goalkeeper, Ewan Phillips. Already made a number of uh, important saves. And again, this left back position is, is pretty empty. No wicked players really on this left hand side. The lovely tackle. Ball kept in play by Witter. Well, by uh, Tablerham, so <laughs> just realised I hadn't changed changed my team sheets the wrong, the wrong way around there. Looks like uh, South Hensley are lined up pretty much the same as they were in the first, but uh, interesting to see that we gift are tending to leave gaps down their right hand side. And the referee will give a free kick for a little tug yes yeah, so this is a dangerous free kick and looks like a Dante Waite has also been told to, to go back a little bit although he's, he's actually just been told to go and take this free kick we've seen that he's got a shot and a half on him he may well have a go here the way he hit the ball before this this is not much further away from the goal he scored, so he will have a go. Yes, Dante Waite has, has gone to a defence position, and Marley Simpson, the number four, has, has gone into midfield. So I think there's a there's a definite tactical thing here that Whitgift have decided that. They need to get one of their star players on Lewis Blanchard, who's already got a hat trick to his name in the first half, just to deal with his pace. Again, South Hensley finding acres of space on their left side. It's almost like there's a there's a player that's not doing his job. I'm just trying to sort of identify words. I think the, the thing is is that Bean is dropping inside quite a lot. And he doesn't go out there for when doesn't get back out onto the right hand side when there's a goal kick. 
In fact, uh, I think his coach has just told him that he needs to retain his position. And he's now stood out in this area. I think there's a few players. It looks like there's a few players from Whitgift slightly playing out of position. I've just seen Evans has just dropped to have a little chat with the coach to ask about where he's supposed to be, I think. Bunch of, that's a good ball inside for Cunningham. Oh, he's looking dangerous, South Hunslet. Windham putting pressure on Arusu. Cleared by Mundegar. Good play from Tabraham. Here's Evans. Evans gets the afterburners on. Hasn't got any real support. Has to go alone. And what a tackle that is from Lewis Els Fontana. Here's Halliday. Just to take on Needley. Oh, that ball's gone through a number of legs. Abraham. Oh, little opportunity there. Bachelor plays it back in. Bit of pinball on the edge of the box. Halliday loses out and Blanchard, well, I think it uh, I think he thought somebody was right next to him, but in the end he actually had the time to turn. Here's the ball through. Blanchard opening up the legs to show the pace again. And there's no doubt the pace that Blanchard has, he definitely uh, he's a dangerous man with Whitgift pushing up such a high line. Great, great to see we're entertaining the kids who are watching the game as well. Evans manages to keep the ball in play. Wyndham putting pressure on, he's still kept it in play. Good play from Evans, and he'll have the shot. A bit of curl on that, that was a great attempt from the youngster. Coming off the South Country and William Close. Brought into the arena. So it's a wick gift. Evans looks to play in Tabraham. Evans wins it again, and that ball's gone through a few legs. Cleared up, and Paulford now with a bit of space in front of him. Beams racing to get back here. He's definitely been told by the coaches that's his area to cover. And well, great play there from uh, Paulford. And Bean definitely run out of energy, let Fulford carry on there. But this is the counter. A few tired legs out there for sure. Looks like a substitution below, and Jimmy Arnoli is coming off. 
Um, Neil Batchelor, number eight, is, uh, is uh, exiting. There's a little discussion as to who's going to take that position because it looks like Arn Olin is uh, going to come on right back. And it looks like uh, Josh Grant Halliday is going into a sort of a defensive uh, sort of midfield position. So a bit of movement around. And I just wonder how long it's going to be before we see Dante Waite coming forward at the moment. He's. Uh, I won't say he's wasted at the back. He's obviously there to do a job to stop the goals going in. And certainly missing him and his creativeness at front. There's a crowd here shouting for offside. Ironsman's having none of it. So comes we have uh, got the ball back. Here's Cunningham. Up against a Wosu. It's a dangerous ball to play. Goalkeeper stayed back. And apologises for not coming to help out there. I think uh, they're all a little bit surprised that he tried that. It's a really dangerous ball to play from. Well, by the touchline, to try and pass it back to your keeper. There's a lot of ground to cover there, a lot of places to, for that to be intercepted. Here's Bean. That's the second challenge in Wyndham. Out to Cunningham. Oh, lovely skills from Cunningham. Made that look easy. Taxi needed. And here's the counter attack now from South Hensley. But wait intercepted that with ease long ball to Evans Evans loses that to Fulford game's very open at the moment next goal could be really important in this match and Bean is working so hard to get back and forth but in the end fouled him there's no doubt that the coaches here have uh, told Bean that that's his responsibility Edwards been quite the second half as Edwards actually out to Fulford lots of space again on the left beams racing again he's left his man opportunity here balls loose Whittle keeper saved well good chance there for South Hunsley Whittle again ball kick goes straight to him Blanchard Miscontrols. I feel that uh, South Hunsley at the moment. You know, taking uh, Dante Waite away from that midfield area means that now we're seeing uh, South Hunsley winning the ball a lot more. So Sam Bean is off. He's put in a lot of work. Oliver Pollard is on. And it looks like there's a switch here. So Awusu has been pulled down to the to the right hand side, a def definite tactical change here. Wusu's been asked to try and control Fulford. And here's Blanchard, is through on goal. Can he get through? He's gone through, wait. But a slightly heavy touch. Goalkeeper does well. Really good game. Whittle. Looks to John. Playing window, but Evans does well there. Looking for the substitute. Tackle from Ellis Fontana. Finsley, South Hensley players appealing for a throw, they're convinced it just touched Evans as, uh, as the tackle came in. The referee is having none of it. Evans pushes Whittle aside. And the free kick is given on the edge of the box. Dangerous. Weight is going forward. To have some uh, height and physical presence in the box. If uh, Simpson, Evans, and Weight all in the centre, three of them are going to be dangerous. Oh, actually hit the top of the bar. While well, everybody was looking towards the penalty spot where all the big boys were. And actually, I've got to say, I'm sure that's not an intended shot. Let's have a look. Where's he looking? He's having a look at goal as he plays that. I just wonder whether he's seen the goalkeeper off his line and had a little, a little pop. 
Evans, who's putting in a real shift there for Whitgift up front. And now Blanchard, the opposite number nine, who's had a great day. His confidence must be sky high. Everything he's touches turns gold. Sorry. Apologies for my own bad pun there. Here's Windham. Windham fakes the pass to Cunningham. 20 minutes to go in this under 13 Elite Schools Cup final. Great game it is. Days like this, so enjoyable. The Wusu. And a real battle here. It turns inside and outside on Fulford. Gets a little nudge. Referee gets the foul. And doesn't like the fact that Edwards hit the ball in an aggressive manner towards Owusu. I think he's a bit unlucky there, to be honest. I think Edwards is just putting in a firm tackle as the whistle went. In fact, the ball hit Owusu in a sort of aggressive way. I think it was just the material. That's a dangerous kick. That was had some distance on from uh, weight. Caught the defence out a little bit there. Fulford goes down the line, looks to play in Blanchford. That's a great ball from Blanchford. Edwards looking for support. Doesn't have a lot. Playing lovely football. Fulford down the line. Here's the substitute. We've not seen a lot of him yet, William Close, on this left wing. throw and Fulford heads clear wait headed by Plunkett to give the ball away easily now it's not a good thing to be doing when you're up against a team like Whitgift Simpson playing a more forward role in this second half out wide and it was uh, Arnold in there not have many touches of the ball at all Evans appealing to uh, Thomas, uh, sorry, to uh, Pollard to get in on that ball there. We give return possession. Blanchard, weight is right on him. Blanchard is and has been playing a pretty much solo role up, up front for South Hunsley. Solo role that's gone pretty well. Have a little push that the referee's seen, and he's given a free kick. <laughs> Evans fancies this. Pretty sure he's going to have a shot. Dante Waiters uh, had his shot earlier. Evans three in the wall Seventeen minutes to go. After having a goal fest in the first half, nothing in the second so far. Plenty of chances. The uh, changes made by Whitgift is definitely. Oh, what a ball that is from Edwards! Here's the substitute, close. Trying to take on his player, but uh, Arnold in stands up well. The two substitutes being head to head there. In the left corner. And yeah, there's no doubt that uh, the fact that Dante White has pulled back into defence 
We're certainly seeing a much tighter play, but his influence further up front has been lost. And the game has tightened as a whole. Henderson. It's the ball out of play. Three more games to come. Here today, Evans. Really making some good solo runs there. Simpson looks out wide. Arnold and swings one in and Evans will get on the end, end of this but a foot in from Ellis Fontana and Whittle clears Simpson again if getting a little bit more possession than they had earlier in this half Wyndham just clears his lines and long ball for Blanchard and Dalgleish just puts the ball out of play not 100% sure what's going on behind him Chance to South Hansley to just move forward a little bit. Henderson. Nice skills from the number eight. And that's a great ball across for Fulford. The Wosu coming to close him down. Fulford swings it in, edge of the box, weight clears. Now is a chance of a counter. There's a few wicket players putting the head down on the sprint, but the ball's been lost. Edwards retains possession. Fulford looking back for the um, goalkeeper, but it's, that's cut out by Evans. And uh, sorry, it was Plunkett there. Plunkett did really well. Rosu, lovely bit of skill there. The crowd appreciated that. Evans, Plunkett bearing down on him, but Evans has got a bit of pace as well. Shrugs off Plunkett. This is such a good game. For me, this is the best game of the tournament so far. Blanchard looks to move in on the outside. Blanchard has got in here. Has he got in the support in the centre? The goalkeeper's totally out of it. Oh, the pass has gone astray. There were two players inside the box waiting for that ball just to put it in the back of the net. Close. Tackle from Arnold. Those two are having a great battle down there. Oh, Plunkett looks to be struggling a little bit here. I think he's put in such a big effort for the last few minutes. He's uh, he's looking a little bit, looking a bit lame as he ran towards that ball. That's a lovely crossing. Here's a chance. Goal! Oliver Pollard, the substitute, has taken advantage of a bit of disarray at the back for South Hensley. And it's 3-3. Three, three. Wow. It all came down the right hand side. And Wusu puts the cross in. And it was uh, Ellis von Tommen who just got a foot out. And in the end, he put it right into the path of Oliver Pollard. And Pollard scored, takes the shot. It wasn't an easy finish, to be honest. He was under severe pressure. He had to hit it on the on the volley. With a side foot, and he's put it in the back of the net. <laughs> right, the substitute below us, number 15, is coming on. Matthias Nier. <laughs> and 12 is off. <laughs> Jacob Arusu, who's really put in a shift, and well, he created that goal. It was his run. Here's Henderson. Game is in the balance. Could we have our first penalties of the of the week? He's played in Blanchard. He's got one to beat. The uh, release to shot. He's close. Back to Fulford. 
this field there's a few tired legs out there we've not seen many substitutes I think there's only the one sub being played for South Hensley so far there looks to be a couple of tired limbs out there oh that's a good little turn inside here's a chance saved by the goalkeeper that was going in towards the far post another chance here Wyndham Wyndham oh that's wide and it was quite wide actually look if we see from our The vote has gone live for the um, for the player of the match, and I've got to say I've been so excited watching this. I've actually not given the four players, so the players have been chosen uh, by the uh, organisers downstairs. I, I do apologise. having a little look on Twitter to see uh, who the four players are. Can't see them yet. Maybe it isn't quite live. Well, obviously, there's uh, Blanchard, Dante Waite. I really like Evans up front for Whitgift. Players all around. Here's Evans getting on the end of this one. Loose ball. Oh, tackle that is. Oh, nice. Montana. He's been excellent at the back for South Hunslet. Henderson. A couple of nibbles from behind, he managed to stay on his feet. Cunningham, throw for South. Hensley, I think there's definitely some tired legs out there. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a couple of uh, players coming off the bench now as Henderson. Obviously, he uh, had a couple of nibbles from behind, and his uh, ankles are feeling a bit worse to wear. Play just has a little lull for a second. Bliss. Blanchard with the shot across goal. Keep 
So five minutes to go. Three all. We will go straight to penalties. You almost feel that it's one of those cliches. There shouldn't be a loser in this game, but it's uh, it's been such an entertaining game. Two very close teams. It really is uh, nothing to choose between them. The game is there to be won. Well, good news for all you uh, Plover match fans out there. Apparently, the, uh, I am choosing the four, and I have chosen them. You haven't got a lot of time to uh, select, though, I'm afraid. Got so wrapped up in this game. Uh, four players I've chosen. You may not be surprised here, but uh, Aidan Evans, number nine for Whitgift, and number ten, Dante Wade, really both very talented players. For South Hunsley, Lewis Ellis, Els Fontana, has held so many things together at Backford Oak, and of course the hat-trick man Lewis Blanchard. Game is not over yet, the ball's in the six-yard box, the goalkeeper's misjudged, and it's ended up in the back of the net. Who scored that? No idea. I think there's celebrations, it's, it looks like the substitute. William Close has put the ball in the goal, and South Hensley are fourth to your head. Place the goalkeeper under serious challenge. Well, I'm not sure if, uh, if this was VAR. I think the goalkeeper gets a, a bit of a nudge from cutting up number 11 here. You can just look at this. Well, no, he's already dropped. No, the referee's right. The goalkeeper's already already dropped the ball. There's nothing worth appealing for there. And well, two late substitutions coming on here. Number 15 and number 8 are on. Looks like a bachelor is back on. And Nathan Cunningham is coming off. And even Porter is coming on with, well, three minutes left. The pole is live. Uh, I've got to say, um, I'm not a fan of these polls for player of the match, and you only have to watch the last game to see why. But uh, the poll is live. I will be uh, I'll announce my player of the match, who in my book is the official player of the match. Unfortunately, there's no trophy assigned to mine. It's the it's the poll that uh, gets the nice big glossy trophy, which is very impressive this year. I've got to say. South Hensley. <laughs> that just landed on somebody's cup of tea, I think, down below. Kids love watching that. Always good to see a parent try and catch a ball. Dante White with the ball. Dante Waite, sorry. He's got the long throw. He certainly has got the long throw. Cleared by Fulford. Wickgift have got to throw people forward. We're literally two minutes to go. No time at all. Surprised Waite hasn't been uh, told to move forward into his original position now. Maybe that's why. Handled that superbly there. Blanchard's looking for his fourth goal. South Wensley just happy to clear the ball forward. Here's uh, the goal scorer close. Fulford. I really like this uh, this left back ball for his uh, got some real class about him, this young player. South Hensley sniff a victory. Looks like Bean looks like he might be coming back on. It's a very dangerous player as uh, as Bean hit the bar earlier. Hensley, South Hensley, if he wants to uh, bring on a substitute, he's just had the nod. 
They're going to do it quickly, Whitgift. Don't have time on their side. Weight has gone forward, as anticipated. So they're bringing on more attacking players. They have to score quickly. Weight is taking up the centre forward position. He's played every position on the pitch, I think, today. Looks like Simpson has moved forward as well. He has been. Shot from distance from Mundegaard. And now he has Blanchard on the run. Goalkeeper does well to clear that up. But South Brunswick have got players. Might be a shot from distance from Edwards. Blanchard slips over, <laughs> trying to turn quickly to chase after it. That's fine. That eats up a bit of time. Or, oh, to be honest, Whitgift have got a lot of players forward here. They've heavily committed forward on this play at the moment. Three minutes at a time has just been announced. But they really are pushing forward. So Waite and Evans are constantly up front. And as soon as they get possession, you've got Bean, you've got uh, Tabraham both running forwards as well. So they literally got a line of four. Another substitution below us for South Wednesday. Harvey Sykes Cook is coming on, and it's John Wyndham who's had a great game. He's, uh, he's been brilliant in that right back position. He's also a substitute for Whitgift as well. You can see uh, James Hill is coming on. And uh, I'm not sure who that has gone off. Up in the far corner is uh, Leo Bachelor, who's not been on long actually. He came on. He, we, you know, we have rolling substitutes, so he came off earlier. He came back on only maybe five, six minutes ago, but he's now back off again. And now South Hunsley. Just a question of hitting it into corners, keeping it away from places. It's uh, four for money just to get on the end of this, and he's got some pace in him as well when need be. Being chased down by Bean. Fulford still got it, looks up, decides he's going to go to corner instead. <laughs> I wondered about that. He had two players in the box waiting for it. And oh, Blanchard did want it. He's after his fourth. Now Blanchard, excuse me. That's a wonderful play from Fulford. And now really it is going to be a corner. There's Edwards back to Fulford. And that ball's gone out of play and that will be a throw for Whitgift. Coming up to 72, we've got, well, a minimum of one more minute to go, between one and two more minutes. Just trying to put it on the uh, on the roof there. It's actually still in play. Evans is going to take the throw then, and realising that he's the forward man. Looks like a substitute below us, number 14. Thomas Buckton is coming on. And uh, hat trick hero, number nine, Lewis Blanchard is off. His job is done here today. Three goals to his name, all in the first half. The first one after seven seconds. He can be very proud of his of his work. And then another sub here. So Henry Edwards also had a sparkling performance. He's on for Max Sewell. So well. Got to bear in mind, if, we, if score, we go to penalties. Of course, you do have the option to bring players back on for penalties, so just a question of whether it's the last kick of the match. Evans so goes against Evans, and the final whistle! What a game that was! South Hensley. Take the title here in the under 13 elite schools cup 3 2 victory over Wingate School. What a game that was! Sorry, Paul Trump losing everything here. Paul three, of course. <laughs> My mind is mush right now. I'm just high on tremendous football. What a game that was. And what a great advert for schools football. Well, let's have a look at uh, as the players are shaking hands and good to see such great sportsmanship out there. 
Let's have a look at a few highlights. This is uh, from the top. There's going to be a few goals here. Straight from the kickoff, seven seconds. Bang. Blanchard scores 1 0 to South Pensley. Really was a great game. A few upset players I can see below from Whitgift, but I think they expected a victory here today. This is the equaliser for Whitgift. Urusu. Brilliant play from Evans. This was superb from that position to get through basically to the edge of the six yard box and he's pulled it back and very well he's planted that in the back of the goal wonderful play there from Evans not sure who's been announced as the player of the match yet in terms of myself I've got to go with Blanchard you can't score a first half hat trick and always be dangerous without getting uh, a commentator's player of the match you could say what a goal this was from Wade from uh, well outside the box gets the ball one one two three touches and bang and the movement on that ball completely beat the goalkeeper swerved in the air and then here's Blanchard what a touch this is he's chasing the ball and in his stride gets the foot up then turns inside he's got everybody chasing brilliant finish Really impressed with that finish into the corner, getting it into the goalkeeper. About to have a trophy presentation any second, but just stay with this for a second. Here is Edwards, won the ball, played in Blanchard, and again, again, just superb. Smashed it into the far corner, that was his hat trick. And then here was the equaliser with the um, Wosu getting involved his last action in this match actually what a cost this was confusion at the back a foot from Els Fontana and well played put into the back of the goal by Oliver Pollard and then finally the winning goal big bodies in the box the goalkeeper was just put off by somebody I think it was his own player in the end that nudged him out of the way can't give a foul Well, we have uh, some presentations uh, taking place, so over time, MC. Yeah. 
Congratulations to South Huntley School and Whitgift School for giving us a brilliant final. We'll catch up with both team managers in just a few moments' time. So I'm here with coach Andrew, and uh, it really could have gone either way in that final. Yeah, listen, I, I thought that it was a winner. It was a great game of school good football, end to end, lots of goals, lots of excitement. Shame it had to be a loser, but congratulations to Southampton. I thought they were just about catching it. And your players really did give us a highlight reel of talent on the way during that final. There were some brilliant expert bits of play. Yeah, listen, I, I thought we played very well today. Uh, we unfortunately made a mistake in the start, and maybe a mistake in the end. Take away those 30 seconds of madness. We, we put together a good game of football. Um, some good passages of play, some really good goals. We we're probably unfortunate not to go the other way up. I thought their goalkeeper made a couple of excellent saves. If that had happened, then maybe we would have been um, maybe in more control. But yeah, I, I thought that was an excellent game. Uh, the 30 seconds of madness. And of course, it's been such a long season. You must be so proud of your side to reach the final here. Oh, incredibly proud of the boys. They've had a long season. You know, just playing football in the academy and their boys' clubs. They're probably in excess of the game. So it's a shame for them to come second today, but they've got to remember we're very proud of them. The parents are very proud of them, and it'll still be a day they'll look back on and remember fondly. Need one more time, let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for Wick Gift School. So I'm here with Coach James. What a final it was. It really could have gone either way, but your team doing just enough in the end. Absolutely. I mean, what a roller coaster. What an absolute day. Um, it's been absolutely superb. You know, preparation was good. You know, we managed to keep it together on the pitch. And like I say, what a fantastic just for the neutral. Absolutely. And the hat trick we saw with the first goal, one of the quickest goals we've ever seen. Six seconds on the clock when that goal was scored. I mean, Lewis is an outstanding player. He's going to go on to great things, as are all the players on that pitch today for both teams. You know? um, and he's really proven that today. Three goals. There really was a cohesive unit between all of your boys this afternoon. They really worked together for the win. 
Yeah, we've really kept it together. You know, we've got a really good squad. We've got a big squad. You know, strength in depth, um, and that's really kind of paid dividends today. Absolutely, you must be so proud of your side. And give us those final few words of the season. Oh, I mean, what a roller coaster! We're, the boys have been absolutely superb. We've stuck together through thick and thin, and this is the reward. Absolutely superb. Well done, boys. Well, coach, I'll let you go and celebrate with your side one more time. Let's hear it for South Huntsley School, your winners of the Under 13 Elite Schools Cup. Don't go anywhere, ladies and gents, because still another game on the way, and we just can't get rid of them. South Huntsley School will still be here, taking on Egg Buckland Community College. Your under-15 PlayStation FC Schools Cup for Girls is next.